Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily create a table in MySQL. Before creating a table, you need to create a database. So here, we installed MySQL on Windows 10. If you want to install, do refer our video in the description. So we installed at the following path, C program files, MySQL, MySQL Server 8.0. So to start the server, we changed the directory and went to CD means change directory and the path. After that, we entered under the bin then we use mysql minus u root that means u for user root is our user and minus p for password after using minus p we pressed enter and entered the password this started our server after that moving further what we did we just check the databases show databases after pressing enter the default databases are visible we have to create a new database for that we just used create database and the database name. So our new database name is AmitDB. You can use any name for the database. After that, we added semicolon and pressed enter. This created our AmitDB database. To verify that we have created a database or not, we use the show databases command again. After pressing semicolon, we pressed enter. And on the top, you can see our database successfully created. Now, as you know, we need to create table now. For that, what we did, we used the command use and the database name and pressed enter. When database change is visible, that means you have entered a database. Now what? Now we need to create a table name. For that, we need to use the create table command. Now let's create a table. Now let's create a table employee with five columns. Use create table command. Now enter the table name. Let's say our table name is employee bracket now press enter now first column let's say employee id i'll use emp id database int because we are considering the employee id as integer like 1231001 comma because we need to add the next column let's say the next column is first name since name goes under string we will add where care here the value comma now first name then the last name now same where care because it's a string comma now what we can add we can add the employee age employee age int yes comma now the last column we can add is the zone of the employee emp zone this looks fine Let's add another wire care. That's it. Now, this is the last. So, we won't be adding a comma. Press enter and close the bracket. Use semicolon and press enter. This will create your employee table with five columns. Query OK. Zero rows affected. That means we have successfully created. Now, when you will see the structure of the table, it will show nothing. It will only show the columns because we haven't added any records. Now to check the structure use the DESC command that means describe use the DESC after that the table name let's add the table name employee semicolon and press enter now you can see the structure of the table is visible but no records because we haven't added any records these are the data types which we added above so guys in this video we saw how we can easily create a database as well as a table so we created Amid db database and a table employee so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things